Can the Thad Dad missile defense system guarantee Israel's security? The Thad missile defense system, one of the most powerful weapons in the U.S. military, has recently been sent to Israel. This advanced system is capable of intercepting ballistic missiles at distances between 150 to 200 kilometers, with an almost perfect success rate in testing. THAAD, short for Terminal High Altitude Area Defense Light, uses a combination of advanced radars and interceptor missiles. It is the only U.S. defense system capable of engaging and destroying short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles during the final phase of their flight, when they are descending toward their target. The interceptors work by colliding directly with incoming missiles rather than exploding near them, ensuring destruction by impact. According to the U.S. Congressional Research Service, the U.S. military operates seven THAAD batteries. Each battery includes six truck-mounted launchers, each equipped with eight interceptors, a powerful radar system, and a fire control and communication system. These batteries are designed to protect crucial sites by intercepting ballistic threats from enemy forces. One of these valuable batteries has now been deployed to Israel in response to Iran's unprecedented attacks on Israel on the 13th of April and again on the 1st of October. The U.S. Department of Defense stated that this deployment aims to strengthen Israel's already extensive missile defense network, but for this mission to be operational, American ground troops are essential. As announced by the Pentagon, Around 100 U.S. soldiers will be dispatched to Israel to operate the THAAD system. Meanwhile, a source in Tehran informed CNN that Iran has warned the U.S. of retaliation if Israel launches any new attacks. This warning adds another layer of tension to the already volatile situation. What makes THAAD even more effective is its ability to integrate with other U.S. defense systems. Through an advanced command, control, and battle management system, THAAD can communicate with other missile defense systems like the Aegis system, typically deployed on U.S. Navy ships, and the Patriot Missile Defense System, which targets shorter-range missiles. This interconnectivity allows for a coordinated response to multiple threats, illustrating the significant value placed by the Biden administration on this deployment. The THAAD system is known for its mobility and can be deployed rapidly by U.S. Air Force cargo planes like the C-17 and C-5. However, the Pentagon has not provided a clear timeline for when the THAAD battery will be fully operational in Israel. But what truly sets THAAD apart from other systems is its accuracy. The key to this precision lies in its radar system, known as the Army-Navy Transportable Radar Surveillance Radar, or AN-TPY-2. This radar system can detect ballistic missiles in two ways. In its forward-based mode, it can acquire targets at ranges up to 3,000 kilometers, and in its terminal mode, it tracks incoming missiles during their descent toward the target. Given that Iran is approximately 1,700 kilometers from Israel, the THAAD system would provide a crucial layer of defense in the event of an Iranian missile strike. Despite this, THAAD would not be Israel's sole line of defense. Israel already has multiple anti-missile systems in place. For example, David's Sling, a system jointly developed by Israel's Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and the U.S. defense contractor Raytheon, uses interceptors to engage targets as far as 300 kilometers away. Above David's Sling in the defense hierarchy are the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 systems, also developed in cooperation with the United States. The Arrow 2 system destroys incoming ballistic missiles in their terminal phase using fragmentation warheads, while the Arrow 3 system, like THAAD, uses hit-to-kill technology to intercept missiles in space. At the lowest level of defense, Israel relies on the Iron Dome system, designed to combat short-range projectiles like rockets. The Iron Dome consists of 10 batteries, each carrying three to four maneuverable missile launchers designed to shoot down th threats from closer ranges. Uh, this is not the first time the U.S. has sent a THAAD battery to Israel. A similar deployment took place in 2019 as part of a joint exercise, further highlighting the military cooperation between the two nations. The deployment of THAAD is being closely watched, not just in the Middle East, but also by U.S. rivals, most notably China. China has historically expressed concerns about THAAD deployments particularly when, when a THAAD battery was stationed in South Korea in 2017, 
amid heightened tensions with North Korea. Beijing's objections were based on fears that the system's powerful radar could be used to spy deep inside Chinese territory. Similar concerns have been raised regarding U.S. deployments of THAAD to Guam, where the system protects key U.S. military bases from potential missile threats from North Korea and China. In conclusion, while the deployment of THAAD to Israel certainly enhances its missile defense capabilities, questions remain about whether this move will prevent further escalation in the region. Uh, given the volatile situation and Iran's direct warnings, only time will tell if THAAD's presence can effectively deter future conflicts. What do you think? Will the presence of THAAD in Israel lead to greater security or increased tensions in the region?